my trip has officially begun. I'm in Seattle right now, waiting for my layover to Anchorage. And uh, we'll spend the night there and then head to Telkeaton. And uh, from there, hopefully either tomorrow or Saturday, we'll make it onto the glacier. So I'm excited. Although I did, of course, <coughs> while loading yeah. my bag onto the scanner at the airport, somehow tweaked my knee. I like hyperextended it just a little bit, I think. Um, it feels fine, but of course, that's in the back of my head since this entire trip depends on my legs and knees working well. So hopefully that doesn't affect me at all. And uh, yeah, I'll bring you guys along. So I'll see you guys in Anchorage next. officially landed in Anchorage so never been here before kind of weird it's like 10:45 at night right now let's see if you can see that but so yeah it's like 10:45 and still light out it's kind of getting dusk dusky now um, you might be able to see them but kind of in the background there's some some mountains um, kind of reminds me of just Seattle and uh, Salt Lake mixed together, wet, and lots of mountains, so I think I'm gonna head to bed, call it an early night. We have to get up early and go to Telkeaton, or Telkeaton, yeah, Telkeaton, Telkeaton, let's call it Telkeaton, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, Telkeaton, um, so yeah, we're gonna go there tomorrow and then uh, meet with the ranger, get our food, and uh, Hopefully get a flight onto the glacier if the weather is good, so I'll check in tomorrow. Peace. to Telkeetna. Now we are waiting for our ranger briefing and uh, then hopefully we can get on a flight, but the weather is looking a little iffy, so we'll see. All right, ranger briefing done. Next stop. Check in for a flight. Hi. All right, good news. Looks like we are gonna hopefully get a flight out today as long as the weather stays good. They just flew like 60 people onto the mountain today because they've had a five day weather window. Airport is right there. We are organizing our bags now in here. Just keep it out of the way. And uh, then we'll just have to weigh things, weigh things over here, and then load up and hopefully get out of here. You gotta be taking some pictures of me, go. <laughs> picture time. Jim's very excited. So we're all packed, and this is what we got. This is all of our stuff for the four of us. So, lots of weight. And this is my bag. This one came out to about 40 pounds right now. And this bag right here is 70. We didn't weigh these. And that's what we get to go to the bathroom in. Woohoo! Wow. Now it's time to change. We're almost ready. All right. So, looks like we're on that plane right there. Um, flight is scheduled. We're leaving shortly. And, uh, Definitely a little nervous because we are about to get dropped off on a glacier for the next 15 days or so, so. Huh, never, never done anything this big, so. Definitely super excited and definitely a little nervous as well. 
So all suited up, putting my boots on now. And we'll be in the air shortly, so bad news. We have somehow missed our flight or that we got put on a weather window and now they just canceled all flights for the rest of the day. I don't know if you can really tell, but it's just overcast and rainy and I guess these little planes don't fly in that. So I went from being a little nervous and ready to go to now I'm changing back into my street clothes and I guess we're gonna spend one more night here, but hopefully as long as we get out on the glacier by tomorrow, it really delays nothing because we would probably just land in camp tonight versus now get a good night's sleep a good dinner and then hopefully take off in the morning and then we'll be ready to go and can start moving on the glacier tomorrow so not that big of a deal yet but always stinks because i don't want to be stuck on like a two three four day weather window sitting here and wasting time so we found a place to stay for the night. Just had some pizza and beer. Just one beer, but not 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 getting crazy over here before this climb. Um, but I figured I'd, since I have some free time, I'd show you guys the town. So the ranger station we checked in is right down there a little bit, just a little bit past where I'm pointing. We just got pizza right here and we had breakfast here and let me show you the rest of the town and that's pretty much the end of town like right there so the entire town runs from there there and has a population of approximately 800 people and that's probably in the summertime in the winter time they probably have no one so so yeah I'll check back in tomorrow good morning day two I am feeling good got good sleep and we are walking back to the plains now there's some back there uh, we're walking back to here. The sun is out for apparently the first time in like two weeks. So we're thinking we have a good shot to fly out again. And uh, yeah, hopefully it all works out. Check back in a little bit. All right, so we are on a another weather delay. So I'm not gonna check in again until we actually are getting on the plane, but that's what's going on now. Hey. So redressed, day two, waiting to fly out again. So I'll check back in when I'm getting on the actual plane. Until then, I'm just going to stretch, I guess. All right, well, while we're waiting to still fly out, we're having a, a fly-in, is what it's called. Apparently, that's what you do in Alaska. There's a lot of private pilots that you just fly your planes in. I like this one over here. But yeah, you fly your plane in and just hang out. We got some food vendors. And then I just rode, was testing out that bike. So at least we have something to do, but at this point, I'm ready to go. All right, let's see what happens. We're gonna get on the plane now. So hopefully we can make it there. A gravel right along the... Yeah, we oh, yeah. there. Yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> first U-turn. <laughs> At this point, this is the first U-turn trip. Hopefully, hopefully wrong. Be zero U-turn. We're not having a U-turn trip. Hey, Chris. Hey. Time to go.
Uh, they closed base camp again due to bad weather there, so even though it looks fine here to fly, we never get to keep flying, so I guess we'll keep waiting for now, this is what we're all doing. Everyone's just huddled around a phone talking about climbs and gear and just trying to stay busy right now. Well, after waiting around all day, the weather keeps improving here, but for some reason it's got some high pressure that's socking in the lower mountain and they can't fly to it, so we are stuck here for another night. But uh, we got a nice little bunkhouse, just got a dinner and a beer, so could be worse. Check out where we're staying. So, I guess another good night of sleep and we'll just hang out and hopefully tomorrow. Gotta stay positive. Catch you tomorrow. So day three, we're getting picked up now. Looks like there's a good chance to fly, but they say that every day. But real quickly, that bunk that I just pointed to, that guy was so drunk last night, he's not a climber, but he was so drunk last night that he fell out of that top bunk three times. So that was kind of interesting, lost a little sleep, but life could be worse, so follow up in a little bit. Let's start this morning, Zach. All right, well, like I said before, day three, we're gonna try this again. Um, on a separate note though, this is a little bit okay, just because we do, we were expecting weather days and have built-in weather days in our schedule. So we have about four to six days that we were planning to either just get kind of get stuck on the mountain or stuck getting off the mountain. And that's just part of our schedule, but of course, we didn't want to start using all of them before we even get there. So if we get there today, that will be a lot better.